Hi guys, welcome back to another speed build in the Sims 4. I'm Kiko Bells, and for today's video, we are building or we are rather participating in a challenge that is called the Kingdom Challenge 3. It's a container puzzle challenge. Um, and it was hosted by my dear friend King Alam, who also has a YouTube channel and I, that I will link down below in the description box. So this challenge was a container puzzle challenge. So we had 10 containers that we had to put together to come up with a house for a household of three um, with a nursery room. <laughs> he created the family that lives here and I will talk about them a little later on but we had specific instructions to be able to build this house i mean the family had specific instructions for about the house that they wanted first of all for the containers we had to place them put them together but we weren't able to align completely line up two con more than two containers to make a big box a large box if we had to line up a third container we had to shift it back or forth so that we don't have a huge box if you get what i mean so yeah anyway that was was one of the instructions we also had the uh instruction to make a big pool and also to have some decoration or landscaping around the pool and i decided to place all those rocks that you can see here um i think all those rocks are from debug menu or from eco lifestyle and I decided to make a pool like a a fake lake. <laughs> um, yeah, to give it a very, very natural look. I placed all those rocks around it and I will be come back to place some weed and flowers around it as well. I also wanted the landscaping around this house to look the most natural possible with a lot of wild flowers weed wild grass growing on the ground but also on the roofs i did all the roofs are green roofs with a lot of weed that will grow on top of them this is an eco house as you may know i love 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 eco houses i love myself a green roof with a lot of plants growing on top of them so because um with the container um with the idea of a container house uh, it's an eco house I think that's the best fitted for the style of a house so that's what I went for uh, with this challenge also um, with the in mind the eco house or eco lifestyle house I also decided to give this house different colors so um, it's like they made this house and they covered the walls the existing container walls but they covered them with wood um, wood slidings and uh, that are from recycled materials so uh, this is why we have different type of material different type of uh, colors for the different containers we have green on the left hand side we have brown somewhere we have white in the middle and i thought it looked perfect <laughs> i really wanted this house to also blend perfectly with its surrounding its natural surrounding um as i was saying i really love how it turned out i love the um in the big lake that we have uh i love the grass you will see the grass uh, a little a little later on and yeah this house will be available for you to download as usual under my id on the gallery under my id kikwa underscore builds uh, the family is on the gallery for um under my friend's ID, that is Kingdom33. I will put everything in the in the description box down below. Down below, you will also find the tray five for this um, for this container home. And now you are seeing me actually um, placing all the doing the landscaping, really placing all the plants. I also placed some rocks and some um, corals, I think, <laughs> from Island Living. Um, at the bottom of the lake and sorry but i left the f i lost the footage of uh i thought i was recording but I, I didn't record all the black rocks that i place on the sand here to make the path uh, going up to the house they are actually rocks that came with uh, island living in the debug items 
so now we are inside and we also had some instructions for the inside of the house so as you can see we have a lot of spindles uh, everywhere it was um, an instruction it was something that we had to do um, because we weren't allowed to actually delete walls completely I mean we were we had to replace the walls with spindles so that uh, the host of the challenge, uh, King Lamb, uh, could see if we actually, how we actually lined up the containers or if we actually used the 10 containers or more because, yeah, you can easily imagine that if we actually delete all the walls, it becomes impossible to know what, what you worked with, how you came up with this house. Um, so it was, it was best. Uh, to have these spindles here for him to it was easier for him to to see if we respected all the rules of this challenge So but I love I love having beams like that uh, spindles inside of the house. I love having beams. it, it adds some uh, uh, Authenticity maybe to a house and but it was a challenge as well to be able to place the stairs uh, somewhere where you don't cross the spindles and uh, it was very it was a challenge to go somewhere upstairs you have to keep in mind that upstairs the containers are placed also in all kinds of different arrangement and you have to find a spot where you can place your stairs that go up inside of the containers and that doesn't cross out the spindles anyways that was a challenge now you are we are in the kitchen and the kitchen we also had the family had um the instruction or they wanted to have a an orange kitchen because the dad is i think he is in the cul culinary um career um so he wanted a an orange kitchen absolutely so that's what i did i also extended it to the dining room i don't really like to call wood orange i don't know why some people a lot of people i think americans generally i don't know call wood um wood color orange sometimes when it's this um paler shade of light lighter shade of wood um but i don't like this <laughs> i don't like this this um saying but anyways it also qualifies as orange so I I did the entire kitchen and the dining room with this color um, for the counters it's the island living counters the walls I think they came with I'm not sure they look like the walls from um, um, what's the name of this kit um, desert like kit I'm not sure if it's from the desert like kit but could be but the floor is definitely from the desert like skit i really ended up loving this little kitchen and king lamb also loved absolutely loved this kitchen he wanted a big kitchen but i thought it looked um, a little small but i couldn't do better than that with the space that i had but i, I absolutely love the dining room i love the soothing colors ah, i love it and especially with those um drapes or curtains that came with high school years i really do love this it looks like some peaceful dining room where you can just sit in the morning and eat breakfast before going to work or to school and it looks um i really love it and the soothing colors this this shade of of wood actually this lighter shade of wood is my is my favorite uh of all and i replaced as you could see <laughs> briefly i replaced i ended up replacing the tiles in the kitchen with the ones from um jungle adventure i really do love these tiles ceramic tiles they are my favorite i think so now we are in the living room and the living room is overlooking on this little patio here um or landing i don't know <laughs> that is overlooking on the on the big pool and the pool that has water that a, co a color of water that i that came with a uh, jungle adventure if i'm not mistaken that is this sort of bluish green and i really love it and i really wanted to echo this kind of color inside of the um living room that is actually overlooking on this uh, on this uh, uh big pool 
I really wanted to match the living room to uh, the pool here so that's what I did that's why I chose these uh, accent wall colors and also uh, the um, the rug underneath underneath the coffee table I also placed a little nook for the baby um, that is to come because the mom is actually pregnant uh, in this household and we had to place things for the baby I also placed also in the living room in the dining room if you could see I placed a high chair for the baby um, now you are seeing the the bathroom slash laundry room that is just uh, next to the living room and we also have this uh, color uh, dominant color that is the bluish green and I love this color I really do love this color in in French we call this color um, water green and I don't know I don't know if uh, you call this in uh, it, if it's a saying also in English but I think it's it fits perfectly because it's uh, the same color of the as the water of the pool um, yeah so this um, little bathroom here is mainly furnished uh, with the drawing together I think um, yeah the growing together appliances not appliances but yeah the, the the toilet and the sink are from growing together the walls and the floorings are from growing together as well now you are in the girl's bedroom so um she's a teenage girl uh she lives with her dad of course and the woman <laughs> her dad's wife is not her mother because her mother actually disappeared uh, at some point and they don't know if she's dead or anything anyway that's the, the story that's the backstory of this family I'm not I'm not <laughs> inventing anything but yeah she doesn't really like her her, her stepmother but yeah she wanted um, we had the colors that they loved actually we knew that she loved uh, each of the family had specific colors that they loved and so I tried to um, translate those colors into their bedrooms and here this girl she wanted the bedroom the brightest bedroom so I placed her bedroom underneath the glass roof that we had on this house if you notice at the beginning I made some a large glass roof on the left hand side of the house and this is uh, the container that is underneath this uh, glass roof she also have her own balcony slash uh, patio on the side uh, with where I will put also some um, lounge chairs um but yeah she loves purple and i think orange and i think yellow too uh, so that's what i did in this bedroom i furnished it mainly with um, high school years i love love the uh furniture that came with high school years look at this little dresser here it's so so cute i love the color uh, I placed those drapes that are hanging above the bed, those drapes slash lights hanging above the bed, uh, fairy light style, and I really love it for a teenage bedroom. I placed, of course, a lot of clutter uh, to make it lift in, to make it look like um, a teenage girl's bedroom, and uh, yeah. So now we're moving on to her personal space. I mean, it's for everyone, but it's just. It's next to her bedroom it's kind of her patio and his a little place where she can hang out with her friends I put two lounge chairs also a small um, meditation pool where she can do some meditations and she, we I also placed a ladder in front of the house that goes down from this little patio here a balcony and also at the back I placed this um, ivy trellis that is the sneak out high school ladder <laughs> so maybe she could actually sneak out uh, at night to go to some party and uh, unseen by her parents but yeah now we are speaking of the parents we are in their bedroom and um, the dad loves um, gray yellow and orange yes because we also have um, the orange kitchen um, but yeah so in this bedroom I the main color scheme is gray and he loves blue as well did I say blue blue orange yellow and gray so the main color scheme is yellow and gray or maybe blue if you if you will uh, it's kind of a the actually the wall here is kind of a bluish gray 
and so it's perfect the bed also i I, I really chose the colors uh, that goes in this color scheme. Um, the all the furniture in the bedroom. Uh, I mean the bed, the bedside tables, the dresses, all from high school years. High school years has some very very cool um, uh, furniture. Also the uh the rug that is underneath the bed is also from high school years and now we are in their bathroom and that was something that they also wanted they wanted an in an sweet bathroom and i made it yellow gray and blue as you can see <laughs> yellow for the wall and the flooring and gray and blue for the um how do you call this again anyway the toilet the sink and uh the bath mm, yeah i'm trying to find the word for the the whole lot of this bathroom furniture but i can't remember the plumbing yes i think it's the plumbing <laughs> um now we are in the nursery room and um what you have to know in this uh, little family is that uh, the dad is a chef, I think. He has a restaurant where you have a lot of uh, artists that come and uh, and perform. And um, his wife went missing a few years ago. Uh, they never found her. She was declared dead. We don't know what happened to her. Maybe she ran away from the house, or maybe the dad killed her. We don't know. I'm not. I'm not creating or inventing anything. <laughs> this is actually the backstory. And I think it was quite creative and uh yeah so um this dad became a widow widow yeah if we could say and with his teenage daughter and uh he met this uh young artist that is um that became his wife and uh, now she's expecting and that's why her daughter his teenage daughter doesn't really get along with her she doesn't like her but yeah anyway they are married now and she's pregnant so they wanted a nursery in this bedroom and i really love this little nursery uh, i think the um the walls i never used these walls in a, in a, in a nursery room and but they came with uh the pastel pop kit now we are in the home studio for this uh for this artist and it's a recording studio for the mom um, and I placed those walls here that are from uh, high school years and I thought they look cool because first of all it's her favorite color she loves uh, purple she loves orange as well I think but uh, she loves purple and blue if I'm not mistaken I changed because this this shade didn't have enough purple for my liking so at the end I went back and changed it for a more purple one um, and she has she wanted her own recording studio and I also chose this uh, wallpaper because it looks like something for the insonorization uh, of the room so yeah I placed in there a um, uh, a keyboard a mi microphone and also the mixing table um, so yeah and we also have a guitar <laughs> so they also wanted an activity room for the whole family so here I'm placing it in the landing here um, upstairs when you come upstairs you land in this uh, activity room I place the um, it's where we have the computer with the desk we have this um, um, bookcase that came with um, hmm, snowy escape uh, I think the yeah the um, what's the name of this the desk sorry <laughs> the desk and the chair are from growing together and we also building in San Sequoia that is something I didn't say but we were also building in San Sequoia I've built this house quite some time ago but we I think we just got in uh, we had just gotten um, the growing together pack when I built this so yeah um, I'm also placing here a little chess table with those chairs again once again with um, uh, that came with uh, growing together I think we will have also in this room um, a yoga mat and we have um, a little reading nook here with those bookcases and bookshelves 
and yeah i think that's it for this little uh, activity room maybe yes i was saying i was gonna say maybe a, a meditation stool and yes we have two uh we also have on the balcony we also have a uh, an easel for painting and also um boxing bag so i think that's uh, we are almost at the end of this video guys um now you are seeing the kids bedroom the kids bathroom it's the only bathroom upstairs we also have we have a bathroom in the parents bedroom we have a bathroom upstairs for the kids um where they have their bathtubs and we have downstairs if you remember next to the living room we have a small bathroom with just toilet and uh, a toilet and a sink and also the um the washing machine and the dryer so yeah i think we are almost at the end of this video guys just finishing here and there with some touch um in uh, on the the lake and i think i will place a little barbecue area uh dining area down uh, back there and that will be it for this little video guys hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and this little build and you hope you will have fun uh if you actually download it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in the future hope to see you next time for my next video guys and in the meantime take care bye